Hi, good morning everyone. I am Dr. G. Srinivas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Minister of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal, Hyderabad. In this present video, I would like to discuss the problems in the question bank from Module 2, Part A, first video. The Module 2 is Ordinary Differential Equations of Higher Order and it is from the course Differential Equations and Vector Calculus. So in this video, I would like to perform the problems in the question bank in the part A. Now go for the problems. The problem number one, solve the differential equation d square plus 4 of y is equal to sin 2x. Clearly it is a second order differential equation. And clearly this is in operator form. The given equation is in the form d square plus 4 of y is equal to sin 2x. Already it is in operator form where d square means d square by dx square. Now to solve this equation, we need to find the complementary function and particular integral. The sum of the two is the general solution. The complementary function plus particular integral summation is the general solution that is y. So we know that the complementary function is nothing but the solution of d square plus 4 into y is equal to 0. Now, first I would like to find out the complementary function. Here what is f of d? This is in the form f of d of y is equal to q of x. This is the standard format of the second or higher order differential equation. What is here given f of d is d square plus 4. Now, the auxiliary equation, the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0. That is m square plus 4 is equal to 0. That is m square is equal to 4i square. m is equal to plus or minus 2i. Therefore, the complementary function, the CF is yc is equal to, here the roots are complex numbers. So, e power 0x into a cos 2x plus b sin 2x is the solution of the first part, that is complementary function, that is yc is equal to a cos 2x plus b sin 2x, that is the first part of the solution of the given equation, yc. Now we need to calculate the yp, the particular integral yp is, how I write, now the particular integral, the particular integral is yp is equal to 1 by d square plus 4 of sin 2x. 1 by d square plus 4 of sin 2x. So here, in this method we have to replace d square by minus 2 square or minus b square. So when you replace d square by minus 4, the denominator minus 4 plus 4 will get 0. So in that case we have the direct formula that minus x by, the formula here I am writing 1 by d square plus b square of sin bx. When we replace d square by minus b square, the denominator is 0. In this case, the solution is minus x by 2b cos bx. So using this formula here, b is equal to 2 because b square is 4 minus x by 2b of cos 2x. Uh, the value is minus x by 4 into cos 2x. This is the particular integral yp, which is the second part of the solution. Already we have seen the first part of the solution is yc, called equation number 1. And second part of the equation is yp, that is second part. Therefore, the general solution, the general solution is given by y is equal to yc plus yp, that is y is equal to a cos 2x plus b sin 2x minus yp. What is yp? Minus x by 4 cos 2x. So, which is the 
required solution of the given differential equation. The solution is y is a cos 2x plus b sin 2x. This is yc and yp already calculated as equation number 2. On adding both two, you will get the required general solution. This is the first problem. Now, see the second problem. Apply the method of variation of parameters to solve d square minus 2d of y is equal to e power x into sin x. So, here we have to apply the method of variation of parameters. There are two, three methods. The general method is there. Then finding complementary function and particular integral, that is another method. And you can find another method by using method of solution. The given equation is d square minus 2d of y is equal to e power x into sin x. Here what is f of d? d square minus 2d and the auxiliary equation is given by f of m is equal to 0. That is what m square minus 2m is equal to 0 or m into m minus 2 is equal to 0. The m values are 0 comma 2. Therefore, the complementary function yc is equal to c1 e power 0x plus c2 e power 2x or this is c1 plus c2 into e power 2x. This is called equation number 1. That is the first part of the solution. So, in what is the yc? yc is equal to c1 plus c2 into e power 2x and call this is equation number 1. So, in method of variation of parameters, we change the parameters and we write the particular integral. Now, the particular integral p i is y p is equal to, I am writing as a into u of x plus b into v of x. And also, the y c is in the notation, y c is c1 into u of x plus c2 into v of x, where u of x is equal to 1 and v of x is equal to e power 2x. Now, I am writing the particular integral by changing the parameters, by changing c1 and c2 and I am writing new parameters capital A and capital B and the particular integral will be obtained based on this a into u of x plus b into v of x, where a and b can be determined by the formula minus integral v r by v means v of x, v r by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx and b is equal to integral u r by u dv by dx minus v du by dx. So, I am writing a new parameters a and b and u of x v of x is same where u of x is 1 and v of x is equal to e power 2x. And what is r of x here? Here r is equal to the right side function in the given problem that is what e power x sin x r is e power x into sin x. Then a is and also you need to find the denominator. First I calculate u dv by dx minus also minus v into du by dx is equal to what is u? What is u? u is equal to 1 and dv by dx that is derivative of e power 2x that is 2 into e power 2x minus v of x e power 2x and du by dx the derivative is 0. So, the value is 2 e power 2x. Then a is equal to minus integral v of x, v means v of x that is e power 2x and r, r means the right side function e power x into sin x by the denominator value already we have calculated as 2 into u power 2x 
2 into e power 2x of dx. So, e power 2x, e power 2x cancel. The value minus 1 by 2 into e power x into sin x into dx. So, what is the formula? e power ax into sin bx into dx. That is, e power x by 1 square plus 1 square. A is, a is 1. A is 1 here, B is also 1 because e power Ax into sin Bx notation of A sin Bx 1 into sin Bx minus B into cos Bx that is cos x. So, finally what is the value? This is minus 1 by 2 into to minus 1 by 4 e power x into sin x minus cos x. This is A value 1. This is A value. Similarly, we have to find the B value also. Now, the value B is equal to integral u r by u dv by dx minus v du by dx. That is, what is u? u of x is 1. What is r? r is this is e power x into sin x or e power x into sin x by the denominator value u dv by dx minus v du by dx already you have calculated as 2 into e power 2x 2 into e power 2x of dx on simplifying the values and on integrating what you will get 1 by 2 into integral e power minus x sin x dx this is e power x e power 2x so, e power x minus 2x, that is e power minus x. So, on integrating what we will get? e power minus x by 1 square plus 1 square, e power ax by a square plus b square, a sin bx minus b cos bx, that is the solution of the integral e power ax sin bx dx. That is e power minus x by, already 2 is there here, 1 square plus 1 square. That is 1 plus 1, that is also 2. 2, 2s are 4. Or minus on taking outside, sin x plus cos x. This is the value, capital B. So, A is obtained already. B is also obtained. Therefore, the particular integral, yp is equal to a into u of x. What is a into u of x? a is minus 1 by 4 e power x sin x minus cos x into u of x is 1. u of x already, u of x already we have used the value is equal to 1. That is a into u of x by particular integral plus b into plus b means what? What is the value of b? e power sorry, b into b is the value minus e power minus x by 4 into sin x plus cos x into e power, what is the value? e power 2x, v of x, that is e power 2x. Or I can write this is minus 1 by 4 e power x sin x minus cos x plus e power 2x into e power minus x, that is e power x by 4 of sin x plus cos x. Or what I can take out? e power x by 4, take outside. Then what you will get is minus sin x plus cos x plus sin x plus cos x. So sin x, sin x gets cancelled. Am I right? Yp. What is yp? b is equal to integral u r u into r e power minus x by x square plus a square into minus a into sin bx minus b into cos bx. b means 1 cos x. So, on taking out minus sin, we will get a minus e power minus x by 4 sin x plus cos x. This is right. So, a into u of x plus b. b means this is minus e power minus x by 4 sin x plus cos x into e power 2x. That is e power minus x and this is minus I think. This is here. This is minus. Minus means what I will get. I am taking out minus e power x by 4 and this values just there is a small 
change in the minus sign. So what you will get sin x minus cos x minus sin x and minus cos x. B value minus e power x by 4 into sin x plus cos x. That is a into u of x plus b into v of x. b into v of x. b is minus e power x by 4 sin x plus cos x. And a means e power x into what is it? the a value? A value is uh, minus e power x by 4 into uh, sin x minus cos x, right? So minus e power x by 4, I'm taking outside, you get plus sin x plus already t, I'm taking minus. So cos cos will get cancelled, and this value is minus e power x by 4 into 2 sin x. 2 sin x or 2 twos are 4. So minus e power x sin x by 2. What this is, this is only the particular integral. Now the general solution, therefore, the general solution is y is equal to yc plus yp. That is y is equal to a. So what is y? yc, the complementary function. Here is uh, c1 plus c2 e power 2x. c1 plus c2 e power 2x plus yp, the particular integral that is minus the particular integral after all cancellation and uh, simplifying it minus e power x by 2 sin x. This is the, the complete solution of the given problem by using method of variation of parameters. So we have to remember the formula here a and b values are a is minus integral v r by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. Similarly b value these two formulas Remember to solve the problem in method of variation of parameters. Where a and b are the new parameters and which are, which are used in the particular integral. Already we have in complementary function c1 u of x plus c2 into v of x. This is by changing the parameters c1 and c2, we write a new variable c and b, then yp will become a into u of x plus b into v of x. So then after finding a and b, we replace a b values and we write the new y p. Then the required solution is y is equal to y c plus y p. On adding y c and y p, you get this one, and which is the required solution of the given differential equation. Now we see another problem. Problem number three. Find the general solution of y fourth derivative plus eight y double dash plus sixteen y is equal to zero. Solution. The given equation, the given equation in operator form, in operator form, that is d power 4 plus 8 d square plus 16 of y is equal to 0, where d is d by dx and d square is d square by dx square, so on and d power 4 is d power 4 by dx power 4. Here y fourth derivative means d4 by dx power 4 or I can write d power 4 a d square 16 of y is equal to 0. So now what is here? What is f of d? Here f of d is d power 4 plus 8 d square plus 16. Now the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 that is m power 4 plus 8m square plus 16 0 or I can write it as m square plus 4 whole square is equal to 0. On expanding m square whole square m power 4 4 square 16 2 fours are 8m square or m square plus 4 is equal to 0 and m square plus 4 0. So m square is equal to 4i square m is equal to plus or minus 2i. And here also you get another plus or minus 2i. So 2i plus 2i minus 2i plus 2i minus 2i. That means what? Plus 2i repeated twice and minus 2i also repeated twice. Therefore, the complementary function or the general solution. Because there is no term on the right hand side, there is no particular integral in this case. And the complementary function will become a general solution. And y is equal to a1 plus a2x into cos 2x plus b1 plus b2x into 
sin 2x. That is the required solution. Because, because here, plus or minus 2, I repeated two times. If alpha, comma, beta repeated, alpha is repeated twice, then what we can write is c1 plus c2x into e power alpha x. This is the method which we follow in the real roots. Here the complex roots plus r minus 2a repeated two times. So the complementary function will be in the form a1 plus a2x, where a1, a2 are the parameters and b1, b2 are also another parameters. a1 plus a2x into cos 2x plus b1 plus b2x into sin 2x, which is the general solution of the given problem. That is the problem number 3. Now, I am coming to the last problem. Now, also we are using method of variation of parameters to solve this problem. So, as usual, we write the complementary function up to that it is common part. After, after writing the complementary function only, we write the particular integral by changing the parameters. Now, now first write the given equation, given differential equation, d square plus 1 of y is equal to 10x. And here, f of d is equal to d square plus 1. The auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0. That is, m square plus 1 is equal to 0. m square is equal to i square. m is equal to plus or minus i. Then what is the complementary function? The complementary function yc is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. The roots are plus or minus i. The complementary function, because the roots are complex numbers, the complementary function is in the form e power 0 x, alpha 0 here. It is in the form alpha plus or minus i beta. Alpha 0 and beta is equal to 1. If alpha plus or minus i beta are the roots of the equation, then what will be the complementary function? e power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. That is the standard form of the complementary function when the roots are complex roots. Here, instead of a, I am using c1 and instead of b, I am using c2. c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. So, alpha 0 means e power 0 x, that is 1 and sin x cos x. Beta is 1, clearly. So, the complementary function is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and call this is equation number 1. Now, Take yp. How we have to write yp particular integral? By changing the parameters only a into cos of cos x plus b into sin x. This is the, the yp which we are proposing, where a is the value to be calculated by using the formula minus integral v r by u dv by dx minus v du by dx and b is equal to integral u r by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. What is v here? It is u of x. Here, u of x is equal to cos a. Here I write. Here, what is u of x? u of x, let it is the value cos x. And what is v of x? That is sin x. And what is r of x? r of x is the function which is on the right hand side, that is tan x. r is equal to tan x. Now our aim is to find the a and b values. So what is a value? Minus integral formula v into r by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. That is minus integral v means sin x and what is r of x? r of x is tan x by, so you calculate initially u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. What is u? u means cos x and dv by dx, sin x derivative, that is also cos x minus v, that is sin x and du by dx. So, u is cos x, du by dx is minus sin x. So, that is cos square x plus sin square x, that is equal to 1. So, the denominator is 1. So, sin x into tan x, that is minus integral sin square x by cos x dx. Tan x means sin x by cos x. Already sin is there, sin into sin, sin square x by cos x. But the sin square x can be written as 1 minus cos square x by cos x of dx. So that is equal to minus integral. Integral secant x dx, first term, 1 by cos secant. 
second term integral cos x dx. So almost going to close minus integral integral secant x that is log secant x plus tan x minus integral cos x that is sin x or on multiplying with minus sin sin x minus log of secant x plus tan x this is the value of a similarly you calculate the value b also where b is the formula u into r integral by u dv by dx minus v du by dx what is u u r cos x and what is r tan x by in the denominator we have only one because already we have calculated u dv by dx minus v du by dx as one. Well. So this is cos x into tan x. So sin x by cos x cancel. You will get integral sin x dx that is equal to minus cos x. So b value, therefore b value I will write b is equal to minus cos x and what is a value? a is equal to sin x minus sin x minus log secant x plus tan x. Therefore, yp is equal to a into u of x sin x minus log secant x plus tan x into v of x a into u of x. What is u of x? u of x is cos x. u of x is cos x plus b into that is minus cos x into v of x. V of x is sin x. Sin x. That is equal to sin x into cos x log secant x plus tan x into cos x. Second term. Third term minus minus plus. This is cos x. So what I write here. A value sin x minus minus log secant x minus of minus sin x minus log secant x plus tan x into cos x minus a into u of x plus b into plus that means what minus cos x into sin x. So here sin x and sin x cos x sin x cos x sin x cos x will get cancelled. And this value is minus log secant x plus tan x into cos x is the yp. Therefore, the required general solution. The required general solution y is equal to yc plus yp. That is y is equal to what is yc? What is yc? a cos x plus b sin x, am I right? a cos x, a cos x plus b sin x plus here, what is the value? a is sin x minus cos x, already we have calculated this value is minus cos x into right this minus cos x into log secant x plus tan x. So which is the required general solution of the given differential equation. Just I will explain this problem. Method of variation of parameters. We find the complementary function as usual. Here f of m is m square plus 1 and f of m is equal to 0 and finding the roots m plus r minus i then the complementary function will be in the form c1 cos x plus c2 sin x that is the complementary function. Now we take the particular integral by changing the parameter c1 and c2 and write the new parameters a and b that is a cos x plus b sin x where a and b can be calculated by the formulas minus integral vr by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx and b also can be calculated by the formula integral ur by u dv by dx minus v du by dx. Then u 
cos x v sin x r is equal to right hand side function that tan x and a value on integrating and simplifying you will get the value of sin x minus log secant x plus tan x and b value similarly integral u r by 1 where the denominator is 1 already we have calculated here and u is cos x into tan x tan means sin by cos 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 cancel integral sin x dx integral sin x is minus cos x this is b value so I'm writing into 2 as one function the yp is equal to a into u of x plus b into a value this is and b value this is yp is a into u of x plus b into v of x and simplifying you get yp and uh, I can write a and b or I can write c1 c2 because I, I already written these two values as c1 and c2 so c1 cos x plus c2 sin x bar minus cos x into log secant x plus tan x which is the required solution by using the method of variation of parameters. So with this uh, I conclude this is uh, the difference is uh, question bank of the course differential equations in vector calculus for the regulations BT 23 published by uh, IARE and uh, this is from module 2 part A uh, first video. There are two videos in part A and there are two videos in the part B also. And in the first video, part A, we have solved many problems, four problems, right? So, with this, uh, conclude my uh, lecture in this session. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.